Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to take a quick moment to show you how easy it is to install the ESP32 conversion module for the Duo to go. As you can see here, I have a, uh, I think it's a Rev 1.6 Duo to go that runs on an ESP8266 microcontroller. Today we are going to uh, replace that with an ESP32 using the conversion kit available on my website. And it really is as easy as make sure power is not connected to your device. I do have it plugged in, but uh, there is no power being supplied. I'll remove the pixels for now. Um, very carefully lift straight up on the 8266. You can rock it back and forth gently just to remove it from the header. Now, the conversion kit you purchase will include both the adapter module and an ESP32, and they will probably already be attached, but just in case they're not, or if you buy them separately, um, you can just go ahead and plug these in. Make sure there are no pins that are overhanging. Just make sure everything makes contact and push it straight in. And this is the module. Now, we're going to do the same thing with the other side to the board itself making sure the USB header is facing up. Um, we're going to plug this into the two 15 pin headers on the duo to go Again, be careful. Make sure that there's no pins overhanging. Uh, the two rows of 15 pins should all seat properly in the header. Okay, once that is attached, we will plug in our lights and add power. And as expected, the lights come on to their amber color, which is the default state. Uh, it's important to note that all of the settings that you had on this controller will not be migrated over automatically into this controller. So you will need to remote back into it and set it to the number of pixels you're using. Um, and um, if you're using X lights, make sure you now refer to your controller as the Duo to Go Revision 2 so that it sets up the GPIOs properly. Um, as always, let me know if you have any questions at all. Feel free to email me, jason at rgb2go.com, or feel, you know, leave, leave a comment underneath the video and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great day.